friends, how are you today? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm usually hiding in my car at this point, but everyone seems to be quiet for the moment. So I'm going to just talk to you here and say hello. And I've got some good news. So I know there's a little bit of the rumor mill is flying around with Amazon on what, what you can actually ship in and what you cannot right now. Um, but it's actually, you need to check your seller central because although Amazon did not make an official announcement, they've been opening up a lot more ASINs. And I have also noticed, uh, in the past couple of days, a, a raising uptick in, um, sales that of things that are already been at Amazon. So what they had done previously in the past couple of weeks is they've not only halted new non-essential ASINs that were allowed to be shipped into warehouses, but the items that you had sitting there, they also have delayed the shipments. But at this point, I have noticed that things are, are coming back online a lot faster than they had been in the past couple of weeks. So things that were saying that they weren't going to ship out until like May 1st are now kind of shipping in the meantime. So I want you guys to check your check your ASINs, check your stores, check the things that you can maybe send in. And I would also use a little bit of caution because um, as people start to kind of storm the gates of Amazon again with their FBA orders and things like that, um, they're going to get a little bit backed up. It's not going to be business as usual right away. There's going to be um, you know, long lines with the UPS, long lines of checking in and how long it's going to actually take and the distribution centers are going to be busy. So my suggestion to you is, and that's actually what we're doing in-house as well, is doing about 50-50. So right now I'm keeping, you know, if I normally would send in 100 units, I'd be sending in 50 units and I'm keeping 50 units back just to kind of stagger it a little bit and to do a little bit more merchant fulfill. Because as Amazon comes back online to do full speed of head, ahead, they're also, um, they're just going to be backed up a little bit more. They're, they're backing up more. And you don't also want to pay unnecessary storage fees for things that are going to be sitting there longer. Because when Amazon's not promising, it's just because you're allowed to send it in, does not mean that they're going to make it available for Prime. Another great thing that I have been learning, and I'm still testing the theory, but so far, I'm, I'm data collecting right now, so this is kind of your results may vary. But there's been a lot of people that have come to me recently and saying that they've done a bundle, they've sent in the bundle, they, they've optimized their listings, and they're just not getting any action. And so I want to talk about indexing for a minute, and indexing just means that is your item showing up with the keywords that you placed in your listing? And there's a couple of things that you can do to make sure. Now, this has gone back and forth. I know with Listing Demystified uh, a, a few years ago when they when they did that, that was an excellent a program of software and different things like that um, was great. And I think the algorithm has just changed so much that you know before it was you know it was frowned upon. I think to do a lot of repeated keywords, but we're finding now that that if you repeat a main keyword not over and over again, but maybe two or three different times within bullet points description description and title. Um, we've I've tested this theory on several different listings and I've had a couple of clients test this theory and they had not been previously indexing for a specific word in their in their listing and so they added it in in a sentence form they added it in title description and bullets but not in the back end of keywords they left it off there but added it everywhere else and it turns out that that actually after 24 to 48 hours is now showing up and in indexing for those keywords so if you're having trouble with a specific bundle or ASIN um, you might want to repeat your main focus keywords or keyword phrase multiple times within your listing um, just to see if that makes any changes also we're testing the theory that activity, any activity on a listing is producing a, an uptick in sales. What I mean by activity is if you own a buy box on a listing, you have a bundle, you have a private label product, and you're not getting any traction on it. Amazon's bots is, seems to be picking up any sort of activity. So you would think that making a price adjustment um, on your bundle, or I'm going to price it higher or lower. There's no competition, so there's not necessarily a reason to up, lower or raise the price on something. But if you raise the price on something, maybe by a penny, and then in the next hour you lower it a penny, and you give it some traction for a couple times a day. Now, this would be excellent for something like a repricing software if you wanted to reprice something manually, um, and you could do it in a program or something like that, and do it a couple times a day. Now. 
there, I know a lot of software that can kind of do this for us and I'm testing it out. So I'll bring that to you later on if it, if it all goes well, but I'm testing it. And so far the theory is really helping. I've seen an uptick in sales in the past 24 hours on a listing that was all but dead almost. Um, I was getting ready to give up on this particular listing because I thought all the keywords are right. It's all optimized. It has great pictures, not a lot of competition. Keyword search is still up. What do I do with this listing? And so I learned of this new tactic about just giving it some action and action, meaning I go in and I change the price a couple times a day. And when I say change the price, I mean $29.99 to $29.98. And then I'll put it back up to $29.99 three hours from then. And just giving the listing some, somewhere to go, going on the listing, not as a seller, sometimes even as on a buyer account, just, just to go look at it, to type in the keywords, search your actual item, and then give your listing some visibility. Um, I know this seems like, oh my gosh, I have 100 SKUs. I can't sit all day long and adjust prices on all my SKUs. I'm not saying that in particular. I'm talking about the listings that you feel like are dead or not getting any action because all of a sudden I did that and then 24 hours later I got a sale. I had not gotten a sale on this item in like six weeks. And I don't know if that's due to COVID-19 or whatever it is, but it's just something to think about when it comes to um, your listings and, and what you want to do is it give it a little bit of activity. Amazon bots like activity on your listing. So just consider those things with putting them in your listings to help improve. I know sometimes we feel a little bit like sitting ducks right now. Like, can we send things in or can't we? Should we do merchant fulfill? Shouldn't we? What if you can't? What if you don't? Like there are ways to save your business. There are ways to continue keeping the ball rolling. Another couple of things that people are doing to help them supplement or to learn is to learn. This is a great time to use your time wisely, to learn something new, to do something in your business that you haven't been doing or have been putting off. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not sexy to be like, okay, I'm going to optimize all my listings or I'm going to clean up my inventory or I'm going to do my bookkeeping or yeah, not sexy, but necessary so that when we get to the point where we're go, go, go again, and let's not forget that, you know, we're in Q2 right now, but what, when do we do Q4 planning? Um, now actually, like usually at the beginning of June is when I'm placing orders, um, for all my Q4 stuff and Lord willing, the country will be back open again. And although, uh, albeit maybe slower, a lot of people think there's going to be this like big, huge uptick in the economy. I have different thoughts on that. I think it's going to be a lot more of a slow roll back into um, reality. Um, with that being said, um, I'm going to do a podcast upcoming shortly, probably in the next couple of weeks about rece recession proofing your business and what to sell during a recession so that you kind Kind of know what to prepare yourself for even for Q4 because people's buying patterns and their behavior patterns have changed and will continue to um, follow a certain trend for a certain time after what people consider a a, a tragic event and a lot of the time and a lot of these things are tragic for a lot of people I mean some people in the country are not really affected by the virus itself or anything like that but as a nation and as a world our economy and our behavior patterns are have been either forced or um, adapted to these new situations and business is no different we have to have a different mental game and we have to have a different business game going into the next couple of quarters of business and we're gonna have to make adjustments what was a lot Live and well this time last year is not going to be the same this year and so I'm working on um, research and studies that about um, recession proofing your business moving forward and what you, what kind of changes you can make now to set yourself up for um, the next six months to a year of business that will definitely be affected by this. So um, if you guys have questions, if you've got certain things you want trainings on, please um, just drop me a note here and let me know what, you're, what you really need to know in the here and now, and I will do my best to help you with those things. Otherwise, um, hang in there. We have another podcast episode coming up on Monday. Um, we've got a couple of great guests coming up as far as that. Oh, and... Um, this is the last day for the Wholesale Bundles flash sale. So the Wholesale Bundles course is on sale right now and it comes with two bonus courses. You don't want to miss out on this. It is the only time it will probably be at this price with these bonus offers. So if you have not jumped into Wholesale Bundles, I'm still doing many bundles. Actually, I've created five new ones in the past couple weeks and creating new ones as we speak. I've also got 
five new vendors because I've reached out to my current representatives of different companies and said, here is the list of things I'm looking to sell. Do you know any companies that are open and shipping and selling these products? And immediately I got responses back from reps saying, here you go, this company's shipping and this company's shipping and this company's open and they're shipping. And um, you know, here's a list of people you can reach out to. And I've been placing orders and having wholesale orders come in um, because of these um, because of these vendors. So reach out to your vendors um, if you have wholesale vendors. If you don't, you probably need wholesale bundles so you can learn how to contact wholesale, uh, c contact your vendors and find out where they are and how you can find them and reach out to them. They're desperate for business, believe it or not. Um, I know a lot of people thinking, you know, the country is shut down and no one's working. I have some vendors that are closed for sure, smaller companies or even highly affected country uh, companies over um, New York and Jersey and places like that that are closed. But I have vendors that are literally calling me, asking me like, what kind of products are you looking for? How can we serve you? How can we help you? Um, so they're very open right now to talking to e-commerce sellers because they know that e-commerce is the only thing open right now, a lot of places. I know in Michigan, we're in a highly affected area and so everything is closed here. Um, but as brick and mortar stores are not ordering, they're desperate for their e-commerce sellers to place orders. They want us and need us and they're telling us we're welcome right now. Use this as your opportunity to reach out to wholesalers. They are, are opening their arms to even Amazon sellers at this point because they don't wanna go under either. So um, take this as an opportunity to reach out to people and make those phone calls again. If you've been told no before, call up that vendor again and say, hey, your brick and mortar companies might not be open right now, but I'm open and I'm willing to take orders if you're willing to sell to me. Just reach out and see what they say because I think these, this is a prime time to start these relationships and, and people are realizing how important e-commerce is at this point. And so whether you sell on Amazon or Shopify or eBay or let go or marketplace, you know, there's a place for you. And I think now a lot of these old school companies and even some of the newer companies are starting to realize that, um, you know, that, that cutting off e-commerce is probably not the greatest idea. And so they're learning too. And this is going to be another shift that we're going to see in business in the next six to 12 months. So just make sure that you're revisit those no's that were no's before, because sometimes no just means not right now or not yet. So be persistent. The squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? So, um, just wanted to encourage you and check in with you and make sure that you guys are doing okay. Reach out to me, give me uh, DMs, emails. I would love to um, help you out. Oh, the flash sale. What is the link to the course? It's uh, mommyincome.com slash sale. And you can um, read more about what's on sale at this point. Today, um, midnight is when it, the sale ends. And so you want to get on in on that before the sale closes. Um, because full speed ahead with, with wholesale bundles in our hub trainings that are coming out every month in our, in our uh, membership site, uh, mommyincome.com slash hub. Um, we have a lot of special trainings in there, um, just for hub members. And so that's another thing that, that, you know, is going strong too. Business is not as usual, but business is continuing. And so if you guys need my help, I'm here for you. Um, happy Friday. I just got this brand new wine glass from a friend, so I love it. And I'm going to fill it up and go have movie night with the family. Um, sending you lots of love and good good vibes and um, anything else you can need from me. I'm here for you. Otherwise, have a, have a happy Friday evening.